save some money on your grocery bill? Well, of course! Isn't everybody? Well, today I am gonna show you a trick that I have used to put a few dollars back in my pocket. Hey friends, welcome to the channel. I am Crystal Kime. Thank you for joining me. If you like this content on this video, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell where you can get notifications for when I post videos. And I'd also love for you to be a part of my community on Facebook. You can check out the group link in the description below. Now let's get to the tip. Stop wasting time. So here's my tip, short and sweet. A lot of the places where you spend your money at the grocery store are on your meats. Anything that is meat related is usually the highest th highest price thing in your shopping cart. Well, if you're like my family, we like to eat pork and pork chops, fried pork chops, pork chop casserole. Hey, check out that recipe here. <laughs> All sorts of things that involve pork. But when it comes to buying pork chops, there is a way to get them cheaper. Is if you go and you look for the pork loins. This is a half pork loin. It usually is cheaper than your pre-cut pork chops. And this is the same part of the pig that um, is used for making pork chops. They just take a loin and they cut it. So what I found when I went to the grocery store is these half pork loins were $1.89 a pound. Now if you were to go and buy your boneless center cut pork chops, you would be spending $3.69 a pound. So that's a pretty significant difference. And then if you wanted to get them thin sliced, that would be $3.89 a pound. Now I know these prices are gonna be different in different states and different areas, but around here, this is a great way to save some money. I bought two of these half pork loins and together for both of these, pajamas, which is about a little over eight pounds, I spent a total of $15.69 for the both of these. Now you can also find a full loin. It would be like two of these put together. Um, a lot of times you can find those at like a wholesale store and they're usually pretty cheap as well. Now if I were to buy the same poundage of meat already sliced, I would have spent $30.61. So it's about half the price. To me, that seems like a good deal. And all I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna show you, is I'm just gonna cut them. That's all I have to do. So if you're like me and you have a little bit of extra time because you're at home with kids or whatever, this is a good deal. Now, if you're a busy mom or a busy dad and time is money and you don't have an extra 10 minutes to slice up, slice up some meat, maybe 10 minutes is worth $15 to you, then go ahead, buy it pre-sliced. But for me, this is a great way to save some money. So let me show you how to do this. All right, friends, so what I've done is I've go ahead and taken this out of the package. I went ahead and rinsed it off so it's a little easier to hold, not as slippery, and dried it off with a paper towel. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you sharpen your knife or have a sharp knife um, so that you get a clean cut on these. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and slice them in about an inch or half an inch slices. One thing you'll notice on these half loins, there's already a side that's been cut. That's the side I'm gonna start on because the other side, you usually have a tip and you won't be able to get a full chop out of this. There will be um, some pieces here that you can use for like if you're doing a stir fry or like me, I'm gonna use it for uh, pork teriyaki. So I usually start my cutting on the side with the clean cut. And if I'm getting a hole, I just make a clean cut. It kind of takes a little practice to get the right size, but it all buffs out. You wanna give yourself plenty of space, make sure your knife's easing. And I just saw down through it. Now my knife's a little old, you probably can tell, but see here, now we've got a nice chop. You've got that line of fat here, just like what you would buy at the store. Now this is a little thicker probably, um, but not bad. So we're just gonna keep doing that. See how many we can get. Put a little pressure. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, just get on in there. All right, so I went ahead and cut it up. The last little bits I went ahead and cut into chunks that I will use for like a stir fry or teriyaki or something like that. Now let's see how many chops. This is only one half one. So let's see how many chops we got out of it. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Yeah. So we got 11 chops out of the half loin and a handful of cube loin meat. So that literally took me five minutes to cut up those pork chops. Unwrapping it, putting it away, everything. You're probably looking at 10 minutes and you got the pork at half price. I think that's a great deal. All right, friends, that's it for this quick tip. Let me know in the comments below if you save some money. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.